Hi students, uh, this is chapter 6, lesson 1, and the topic today is called Powers and Exponents. Uh, I know that uh, almost all 6th graders have seen exponents, but it's one of the most common uh, things that 6th graders make mistakes about as well. So we'll talk about some of the common mistakes that I see with exponents today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Exponent is the very first keyword we're going to talk about. An exponent. And an exponent is a little raised up number next to another number. For example, 10 with a little raised up 2. That raised up 2 is an exponent and the 10 is called the base, the base number. So the exponent is the little raised up number. <clears throat> this is the exponent. This is the base. And let's give that some color. <clears throat> the exponent is the little raised up number. And the base is this number. All right, so exponents. 10 to the second power is how I would say that. And Real fast, what is 10 to the second power? If, you're think tw if you are thinking 20, then you are making one of the common mistakes. You do not multiply the base and the exponent. That is not how you solve exponents. The exponent tells you how many times the base is being multiplied by itself. So what this means is that 10 is being multiplied by another 10. The base is written down twice, 10 times 10. And that's not 20. 10 times 10 is 100. So the answer to 10 to the second power or 10 squared is 10 times 10, and that is 100. All right, the next two key vocabulary words we're going to talk about are expanded and exponent form. Expanded and exponent form. Uh, and the example I'm going to use for that is 5 to the fourth power. And that means, again, the base is being multiplied by itself four times. Let's get some different colors here. So expanded form. This is expanded form right here. When you expand out the exponent, that is called expanded form. Exponent form is when you're using an exponent. So this is expanded form, this is exponent form. If you are making exponent mistakes, if you look at that and you are thinking that's 20, 5 times 4 makes 20, then you should always be writing it out in expanded form. This is not 5 times 4. It's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Now when you have an exponent in expanded form, what you do is you just work your way across. What's 5 times 5? That's 25. 25 times 5 makes 125. 125 times 5 makes 625. So the answer to this is 625. All right, uh, let's look at some examples. 
3 to the third power. Again, really fast. What do you think that is? If you're thinking 9, you're making that common mistake. It is not 3 times 3. <laughs> Write it out in expanded form. 3 to the third power means 3 times 3 times 3. And if I work my way across, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Another example, 4.1 to the second power. Uh, if you have an exponent uh, outside of parentheses, it means whatever's inside the parentheses is being multiplied to that power. This means 4.1 times 4.1. Now, this is, I want to point out another real common mistake. If you have decimals, be very careful. 4 times 1 times 4 times 4.1 times 4.1. Be careful about doing that mentally. Don't. Write it out. Solve it. Real common mistake here is kids think 4 times 4 makes 16 and 1 times 1 is 1. So a really common mistake would be 16.1 uh, or sometimes kids add these, 16.2. Those are both incorrect. Again, write it out. Okay, Don't do it in your head if you've got decimals or fractions. So over here I'm going to go solve 4.1 times 4.1. And this uh, is review from a previous lesson. Ignore the decimals and multiply like it's 41 times 41. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 0 placeholder. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 1, 8, 6, 1. 1 jump here. 1 jump here. For a total of 2 jumps, I need two jumps in my answer. The answer is 16.81. So again, be careful. Don't do too much in your head. Write it out. Use expanded form and make sure you're solving them correctly. Another example, one half. One half to the third power. Again, I'm going to write it out in expanded form. This means 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. If I'm multiplying fractions, again, review from a previous lesson, 1 times 1 times 1, I just multiply numerators across, I get 1, and 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. My answer would be one eighth. Okay. Uh, powers. Okay. Are numbers expressed using exponents? using exponents. Okay, powers are numbers expressed using exponents. Here's an example. Four an exponent of 3, 4 with an exponent of 3. The way I say that is 4 to the third power. Four to the third power. So powers are numbers expressed using exponents. 
if I had 4 with an exponent of 2, I could say 4 to the second power, or I could also, the power of 2 is also called squared. So this one, I could say that it's 4 squared. I could also say 4 to the second power. But you're more likely going to hear the word squared when talking about the second power. Uh, the third power also has another way of saying it, 4 cubed. Okay, So I'm going to write that way over here. I know I kind of didn't leave myself a lot of room. Okay, Cubed and squared. Second power is also called squared. Third power is also called cubed. All the other powers pretty much use whatever the number is. So if I had 4 with an exponent of 5, I would say 4 to the fifth power. All right, the last thing we're going to talk about today are numbers that are called perfect squares. Perfect squares are this. Okay, 1 squared means 1 times 1 and that is a 1. So 1 is a perfect square and it's 1 times 1. 2 squared means 2 times 2 which is 4. So 4 is a perfect square because you can make it with 2 times 2. 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 is also a perfect square. 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. 16 is also a perfect square. And these just keep going. Twenty-five is a perfect square because it's five times five. Six squared is six times six, which is thirty-six. Seven squared is seven times seven, which is forty-nine. And I'm I'm gonna end with a dot dot dot, meaning I could just keep going. Eight times eight is 64. 64 is a perfect square. And so these numbers are what's known as perfect squares. 1 is a perfect square. 4, 2 times 2, 9, 3 times 3, 16, 25, 36, 49, and so on. Okay, that pretty much does it for Chapter 6, Lesson 1. Uh, have fun working with exponents and all the various forms today. Uh, here is Hidden Treasure Puzzle, and starting a new lesson, or a new chapter, rather, of puzzles. Just a quick reminder, I know you've seen this, but here it is. In order to win Hidden Treasure, you have to solve the puzzle. You must have all your chapter notes and you must have completed the assignment. Here is your hidden treasure puzzle, chapter six, lesson one. Solve that puzzle. What common phrase or words are, can you come up with from that puzzle? I'll draw for a winner uh, next, uh, the day after your assignment for this lesson, and good luck. I'll see you soon for lesson two.